Hello everyone, Andrew Levin again, aka writer Mickey Wren, as I continue with the vlog about different aspects related to my series, The Runic Warriors. Today, I'd like to delve into the origins of two of my main characters, that being Harry Hansen and Maylee Richardson, whose names have some very interesting backgrounds. Um, Harry was originally conceived completely different. Long before I even started with the Runic Warriors, I was, for my first year of college, actually at Drexel University. And one day I was getting myself together for something on campus when I got myself all dolled up, nice suit, tie, had my trench coat on, and I was wearing this wide-brimmed Amish hat, because I didn't have a cowboy hat yet. <laughs> Don't ask. Anyway, so I'm looking myself in the mirror, and I see one of those film noir detectives staring back at me. And I, and I said to myself, as creative as I usually are, okay, so what's the name of this person? Because that's not Andrew Levin. Who is that? And I thought up the name Harry Hansen for this private detective. Okay. So that's where he started. Then when I got to CCP um, and I was doing a creative writing course, I started to work on a short story. But that one was called Robots of the Future. In this case, what happened was it was all it was taking place in a series of labs where there was a bunch of scientists, each with their own robot. Uh-huh. So Harry Hansen was there as a scientist with his robot, Art. Don't ask me what Art stands for. I don't remember anymore. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it was Harry Hansen and Art. Okay? So, that was that. But that story all fell apart because I was trying to work with too many characters all at once. And the whole thing just wasn't gelling right at all. So then, the inspiration came for the Runic Warriors. And once again, I needed a character in there that was essentially me. Enter once again Harry Hansen, this time as a college freshman turned superhero as the leader of a group called the Runic Warriors. So that's Harry Hansen. Maylee Richardson's history actually has more to do with the evolution of her name. Because Maylee Richardson wasn't originally Maylee Richardson. When I first wrote the Runic Warrior stories 20 years ago, her name was Cheyenne Redfeather. Um, in the interim, a lot had come out about how using the word red anywhere to describe a Native American, because, of course, Maylee is um, a Cherokee. So using the word red anywhere in the name of a Native American uh, could easily be considered offensive, and I was insensitive to that when I first wrote these stories. So first I had to change the last name, so Red Feather became Richardson. Now, the other question is, like I said, Cheyenne Richardson was a Cherokee. So as I was putting together the first story, the first book, um... Questions kept coming up in amongst the circle of writers that I was part of about, okay, is it practical to have a Cherokee named Cheyenne, considering the fact that Cheyenne is another um, Native American tribe? Okay, eventually I finally decided, let me look up some, some things and find a, a really pretty Native American type name for this character. And I stumbled upon the first name of Meili, M-E-L-I, Meili. So, Cheyenne Redfeather became May Lee Richardson. Now, in retrospect, as I was working on the second book, and there was a big part specifically about the Cherokee Native American tribe, I found out that, especially in the mid-90s, which is the time period that the stories are set, that there were quite a few different Cherokee named Cheyenne because it was a pretty name. It had nothing to do with the fact that it was another Indian tribe or Native American tribe, excuse me. 
So I could have kept Cheyenne, but ended up bending to pressures from other writers. So that's how that happened. And that's the origins of both Harry Hansen and Maylee Richardson. I hope you I hope you enjoyed this little chat. And again, if you have any ideas or suggestions or questions about any subjects related to the Runic Warriors that you would like me to talk about, please comment below this video or comment on Facebook under my full real name, Andrew Michael Levin. Um, and, you know, let me know what you want to know about because this vlog is just as much about the people who are paying attention and I hope there is somebody paying attention. Um, but yes, that's all for today. Thank you. Goodbye.